everyone, welcome back. Um, I'm doing something totally different today for the channel. I kind of thought it would be nice to have even just a small section, I suppose, on the channel, maybe like videos that aren't relating to EDS or anything to do with disability necessarily, but things that are to do with just me and kind of, if anyone kind of wants to get to know me kind of thing. Um, I suppose it's to add that personal touch to the channel while at the same time, you know, kind of trying to demonstrate that like we're not all our conditions like anyone with eds or any disability we're not all about that disability um unfortunately as much as we sometimes have to advocate and we have to talk about it in our daily lives there's so much more to us as people um than just being a patient constantly so that's kind of why i thought it'd be nice to do a little you know kind of section like this um and so that's why i'm starting this video today as you can see from behind me, and if you know anything about me in real life, you know that I love collecting vintage toys. I have quite a collection here of Cabbage Patch dolls um, that I love dearly. And it's just one of those things outside kind of either community work, advocacy work, or any kind of volunteering that is like a little thing about me. So you might be interested in this, you might not. I thought it would be kind of cool to um, do kind of a I suppose you see more techie people doing this, like if they buy a new camera, say, or anything, and they do kind of unveiling and unboxing. I have ordered two new Cabbage Patch dolls from online, so I thought it would be really cool just to do like a little video, kind of me opening them, and I'm very excited, and I've been waiting all day to open these. Um, firstly, I should say, like, you know, you're probably not into Cabbage Patch dolls at all, like, unless you found me through this video, and if you have, hey, stick around, read about EDS, um, and have a look at our other videos, which are totally different to this one. But um, if you know nothing about Cabbage Patch Dolls other than say from when you were a child maybe, then you'll probably know the kind of like 80s, 90s style ones. And um, for me personally, I prefer kind of the 80s dolls. So even though Cabbage Patch Dolls still exist now and you can still buy new ones, I do prefer going for like the vintage secondhand ones and the 80s kind of ones would tend to be my favorite. Um, so that's two that I have today basically. I have one that came from the UK somewhere in England and one is from the US. So I'm very excited to open these today. Now I have one box, one parcel. They both arrived today at the same time, even though I think I bought them like a day in between each other. Um, and as I said, one came from America, one came from England. So luckily they both came on the same day um, and I am about to open them. So I got two, I got one kind of like preemie baby one, um, a, a little like black boy. And then the other one is just like a girl with brown hair, like a normal Cabbage Patch doll. But as like I said, they're like 80s kind of ones. So I'm going to start by opening this one. Um, I'm not sure which is which. I kind of did tear it a little, but I didn't really peek. Um, I will say though that most collectors would not be too happy to like get it in this condition. Um, I'm not as anal about it, but I know people, you know, they're very precious and you don't want to get like a collector's item kind of wrapped in a ball, but it, it seems okay. So I'm going to open it now. And in fairness, there's a lot of bubble wrap going on here too, so. Oh my God, can I can get this open. Oh, oh, she is all squished in there. She is in a bag. <laughs> this is really creepy. Like if you find Cabbage Patch Dolls creepy, which lots of my friends do, sorry friends, um, you're gonna find this weird. Hello. Hello, Tasha, if you're watching. Uh, Tasha, I think, finds some creepy. I don't know, I think everyone does, apart from me. So she's trying to get this open. Just squished in. Squished in there. Ugh, so it's actually been ages since I bought a Cabbage Patch Doll. Um, I, I did buy one not too long ago. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll probably have noticed that. I did get a small, newer one. Um, but it's like before that it's been ages since I bought one and it's particularly been ages since I bought one online. Wow, she is in beautiful condition. And that is her there. Isn't she lovely? Oh my gosh, she's in really nice condition. Oh, I'm very, very pleased with her. Um, I don't know if you can see, she's like really clean. She's way cleaner than any of the trash I already own. Wow, oh no, she's lovely. She's very good. Um, she is 84, judging by her little bum stamp. Um, she's got like the black, darker stamp as well. If you don't have any Cabbage Patch Dolls, you have no idea what I'm talking about. It's the little signature on the bum, if you remember that from when you were a kid. So that's the little girl there. And I am delighted with her. So I'll put her aside for a second and we'll open box number two. 
if there's anything ever that you think I should do on the channel, like, you know, especially for this kind of segment, because like, I, you know, I don't know what to talk about when it comes to myself. I mean, who does? Obviously I'm into vintage toys and shit. Like, I mean, and different things are going to appeal to different people. But like, if you think there's something, or if there's any other questions you have for me, I'd love to do maybe like a random Q and A thing, like maybe someday on the, on the channel, like, think that would be a bit of fun like and I know a lot of vloggers do that kind of crack so might do that might do like you can send me in questions online or whatever on on like Instagram or on Twitter so that might be something for the future okay so got this box open and just simple wrap of paper which is fine uh, oh he's lovely <gasps> I'm very pleased with him. He's got like a few scuffs and stuff, which I kind of knew already, but like, you know, it's um, original Cabbage Patch outfit. I have nothing like this. Like it's really hard to get some types, you know, outside America. I think he's 82. Um, yeah, 78 to 82 there. I think he's, I think he's an 82 doll. I can feel like a nappy in there. Oh my God. I'm very pleased with him. This is would be my first kind of like dark skinned one, really. Um, the, one of the recent, like the recent small one I bought. I'll actually just show you. Oh God, I just realized I still haven't taken her plastic off her hands. So she's obviously like a little dark skinned one that I got recently. She was one of the newer ones. Um, oh, she smells lovely. She's got that like kind of like baby smell that they have. Oh, cat's trying to get into the box. Anyway. Um, yeah, so like the, these are kind of the only two dark skin ones that I have because they're very hard to get here in Ireland, especially kind of with the newer ones. Like it's so annoying you go in and it's like, oh, another blonde doll, great. But like, I mean, I do prefer the kind of vintage ones anyway, but they're quite hard to get, like especially here in Ireland. So I'd get ones um, either from the UK or from the US and this wee boy is from the US and I'm very, very pleased with him. So that's it really. These are my two lovely new additions to add to my collection here behind me. I'm going to go find a spot for them. I'm going to stop the cat from tearing this box here. <laughs> I'll actually get the cat just because everyone likes the cat. Yeah. Oh, say goodbye, Tubby. Goodbye, Tubby. And if you think of any other ideas for videos, let me know.